Well, what an event. Uh, congratulations to the City of Las Vegas, the NHL, the people that uh, made the decision uh, to have the draft uh, in the sphere. Just, uh, you know, been to many, many drafts over uh, a long time, and this was uh, just so unique, so different, so superior for the players and their families. It had to be uh, fascinating and uh, just really uh, blown away by uh, how good it was, knew it would be, and, and was uh, impressed more so uh, even than what I would have expected. Uh, with our draft, 19th, uh, with our selection, 19th overall, Trevor Conley. Uh, Trevor is a tremendously talented uh, forward. He's a great playmaker. A uh, lot of a uh, lot of dimensions to his game. Really uh, high-end skill. And when you draft uh, in the first round, we're you know in the top 20. You really want to come away with uh, with talent. And I thought that we uh, did that today with uh, with the selection of Trevor uh, Conley. Trevor will uh, be at development camp uh, next week. He will join the Providence Friars and play college hockey uh, this coming season. And uh, we'll work with uh, our organization, our development team, that uh, hopefully one day become a Golden Knight uh, NHL player. Open up to any questions, <coughs> if, uh, if it could. He Ke said Kelly the meetings that you had, there was you know, obviously a lot of questions, a lot of vetting. Did you sort of know what you wanted to centralize it in the meetings you had with him going in, just considering everything that, you know, just passed, so on and so forth? Well, we met with uh, Tre <coughs> Trevor at the uh, NHL Combine in Buffalo, and uh, we met with him again uh, this week. Uh, over the course of the season, we interviewed him. You interview, like, like any of the people that you feel are in your wheelhouse, the, the, the background work is very extensive, the due diligence is, uh, is very extensive. So we did that with Trevor, uh, you know, in addition to many other players. Um, you know, there were only three or four players that we met with again uh, this week. He was, he was one of those. And I think that we had uh, a comfort level that uh, uh, this is a player that will represent our organization uh, the way that we would expect uh, any of our players to do that. I think that we're uh, tremendously uh, proud of our culture, how we treat our players, how our players treat each other. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in the program at Providence where he's going to be uh, spending time uh, next. And Will, uh, uh, Will Nickel is going to be a really important person uh, in his development who does a great job with, uh, with all of our prospects. So uh, that'll begin uh, tomorrow, starting tomorrow. So that's, uh, that's uh, where we're at with that piece of that, Willie. You, you've talked about always about bringing in guys who are high character as you've met with Trevor over the last little bit here. What are the things that kind of stood out when you got a chance to sit down with him and talk with him? I think some growth and some recognition of uh, areas where uh, you know he had made mistakes and uh, and recognized that he was uh, very uh, candid, transparent. Didn't uh, uh, didn't duck any of the questions that we uh, asked him. And you know, to I don't, I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for with with the question that you ask, but you know, the in, in terms of the selection and the and, and that piece of it. Just the skill. When you uh, when you walk away from from the draft, you're hoping that you've got a a player that uh, you know has a skill level where he can be a real good NHL player. When you're drafting uh, where we we're drafting, we're not going to draft in the first round uh, next year, barring a trade. We're not going to draft in the first round the next year uh, following that, barring a trade. This is a chance to we felt really add skill to our lineup at, uh, uh, with this chance that we had. The last time you drafted. At 19, a guy fell to you for different reasons at Peyton Krebs. He is playing in the NHL. How convinced are you that that Connolly can you know, play in the NHL at some point? I mean, it's hard to always gauge a guy, you know, from. Well, he has the level. talent and the skill that you would reasonably project he's going to be a very good hockey player. That, that's what I would say. Nobody uh, yeah. doing interviews here right now uh, knows for sure. Uh, that's uh, the nature of the beast. We're drafting 18-year-old uh, players. But 
you, you know, our, our amateur staff have watched these players uh, over a period of two years, really, because they start watching them as underages. When they get to their draft year, the first event that uh, the amateur staff attend is the Holinka tournament, which uh, Trevor Conley represented the United States uh, at the Holinka tournament and was one of the very best players uh, in, the, in the entire event. So you follow through the year, you watch a, a player's progression. Um, you know, the due diligence part I already uh, spoke to and, um, you know, we're really comfortable that this guy has a, an opportunity to be a very good player. That doesn't mean he will be, we'll, we'll see, Steve. That's, that's on us a little bit too in terms of what we do uh, well, developmentally. And, and, so uh, what does Will Nickel do to help him grow as a player? on the ice. I mean, that's really Nate's job in problems, isn't it? Well, he's going to a good program, so for sure, that'll be part of it. But, uh, you know, Will Nickel has a, a really important role in our organization. He works with all of our drafted players, North America and Europe, and I think is uh, uh, among the very best in the business. So that, that goes into this decision. That goes into this decision. And as I touched on earlier, I think the culture that we've built as an organization uh, is also going to help this player reach his potential as a player, reach his potential as a person. That's uh, that's what we're trying to do. Kelly, if not for the stuff that happened in the past, are we talking about a top five pick or even a top ten pick? It's, it's hard to say. I can't, you know, I, I'm speaking for other teams when you ask me that question. Um, arguably, he would have went uh, considerably higher. That's, that's about as much as I would be able to, uh, you know, conclude uh, but the skill level puts him in the in the discussion with like like the, the draft tonight there's a there's a group at the top there and I don't mean three or four or five or six there's a there's a large group of really really good uh, prospects that uh, I would suggest have bright futures I would suggest that uh, many of those players uh, will become good NHLers I, I think he was um, you know talented enough skilled enough to be in the conversation with those players. As far as on ice, he looks like a strong winger, playmaking sense first, more than the shooting ability. He said he wanted to work on his shot over the summer. What is that kind of what you saw as his playmaking ability that kind of stood out to that? It, it's elite. His, uh, his playmaking ability is very good. His skating is uh, exceptional. He needs to get bigger and stronger. You, uh, you guys have, uh, have met with him, it sounds like. Uh, you know he's going to have to develop physically, and that's not going to be uh, something that takes place between now and September. That's going to be, you know, I always use the expression, it's a hundred-mile journey, right? And you got to get a little further into it uh, each off-season, in-season when he's uh, when he's playing college hockey. So that's something that's going to take per take place over a period of time. You know, it's going to be a while before he uh, turns pro, and, uh, and you know we'll see how uh, you know physically how he develops uh, along the way you know when players have <clears throat> that type of room for growth it it, uh, it 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 puts more upside into the discussion right when you when you look at a player today that's you know physically mature well, that's one way that player doesn't have to continue to improve so in uh, you know in Trevor's uh, case I think that He's got a lot of uh, room to make himself a better player just by, by becoming, you know, stronger physically and, and you know, continuing to mature physically. Was there an opportunity for you to move up to get him if you had needed to? We we, uh, we didn't make any any calls to move up. We had uh, some calls to move down, which we turned down. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of talk on the floor, a lot of talk in advance. Even some trades in advance, which is pretty uncommon with people with teams changing position, and uh, those conversations go on all the time. And there's, you know, I think everybody sort of has, uh, you know, a pretty similar uh, view on what it should cost to move up this many picks at this point in a draft or around. You'll see more uh, tomorrow, uh, obviously in, as well. But we. Uh, you know, we chose not to move, and uh, again, to your question, we did not try to move up, but we did have opportunities to move down that we uh, that we declined. Kelly, you uh, scouted a lot of.